Hey everybody, Jimmy Beach here with Alien Skin Software. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate tethered shooting using Exposure. Exposure's tethered shooting workflow enables you to preview the finished look of your images immediately. You're also able to cull and do creative edits or retouching right after you've taken your shot. It's great for shooting portraits, fashion or professional headshots, or any other kind of work where you want to be able to share and edit the images with your subject or client as soon as you shoot them. You're both able to find your favorite images and finish them right there during the shoot. So let's get started. In addition to your camera and computer, you'll need the following. Tethering software, which differs for each camera. In this video, I'm shooting with a Fujifilm X-T1, so I'll be using Fujifilm X-Acquire software. A tethering cable, I'm using a Micro B 5-pin cable. To see the hardware and software you'll need for other cameras, read our support article on tethered shooting. In my Fujifilm camera settings menu, I'll set the USB mode to PC Shoot Auto so that my camera communicates with the Fujifilm tethering software. This portion of the workflow will vary for different camera models. Then I'll plug the tethering cable into my camera and computer and set a folder location in the X-Acquire software. I'll create a folder called Mary Headshot to save my images in. Then I'll select Show Window to bring up the X-Acquire UI. In Exposure, I'll choose the folder I just created. Next, I'll right-click on that folder and select Monitor Folder. This opens the Monitor Folder dialog, which is where you control how Exposure handles the images during your tethered shoot. We recommend leaving Auto Select Latest checked. Next, I'll assign the metadata that I want to apply to my images. For this shoot, I'll assign my copyright, name, and email, and I'll also assign a title and caption to my images. You can also assign keywords to your images. I'll assign Mary G as my keyword. To apply any keywords you already created in Exposure, click the keyword icon to view and apply them. I'll also apply Headshot as an additional keyword. You can specify a collection for your tethered images, either by creating a new collection or by clicking the collections icon to select an existing collection. I'll type Tethered Headshots to create a new collection. The Presets field enables you to assign any of Exposure's presets to your image. This is a great way for you and your subject or client to get an idea of what the finished image will look like. Exposure enables you to select multiple presets, which is helpful if you're wanting to compare the look of a color and black and white image, or any other variety of looks. Each preset appears in Exposure's grid view as its own virtual copy, so you aren't filling up your hard drive with duplicate JPEGs or RAW files. If you know the names of the presets you want to use, you can choose them from the selection tool here. Or you can quickly preview them in Exposure's Presets panel. I'll select Fuji Reala, which is in Exposure's Color Films Print Low Contrast category. I'll also select Kodak T-Max 100, which is in Exposure's Black and White Films Low Contrast category. That way I can see both a color and black and white treatment of my image to see which one I prefer. If you want to rename your images, click Rename Files. I'll leave mine as is. Now that I've adjusted my monitored folder settings, I'll minimize the folder monitor dialog and begin shooting. As I shoot, I see both my original RAF image and the two virtual copies, one for each of the presets that I applied, appear in Exposure's grid view. To view each image full screen as I take it, I'll choose Exposure's fit view. At any point during the shoot, I can assign a different preset to any image, as well as remove any that I've applied. Just click the disclosure arrow to reopen the folder monitor dialog and adjust your settings. You can update the metadata, keywords, collections, and other info at any time during the shoot. I can also perform edits using the controls in Exposure's right-hand dock. I have full access to all of Exposure's tools, including Exposure's rating tools and advanced creative effects and retouching tools. Let's look at how you and your client can find your favorite images during the shoot. I've set the layout to show six images at once. I've chosen my client's favorite image and pinned it to the top left grid and marked it with a three-star rating. As I continue shooting, it remains pinned in the view, enabling me to compare the other images to it. My client and I like this shot even more, so I'll do a quick edit during the session to get their feedback on how it looks. I can always refine it later, but this lets me know I'm on the right track. And that covers doing a tethered shoot using Exposure. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorial videos on using Exposure. If you haven't used Exposure yet, 
Try it free for 30 days.